God bless you guys. This is Sean here from Faith Brings Change. I'm going to come on here and I'm going to make one more video. Guys, I want to say to you clearly, if you're playing around with the word of God and using the scriptures that speak about grace to support sin, telling the people that because we're not under the law of the Lord, they say, but we're under grace. What is the grace for, guys? So we can keep on sinning or so we can be delivered from sin? And how do they live up there if they're not under the law, guys? Uh, they don't have to. It's not so much about eating meat or not eating meat. But up there, they are under the law of the Spirit. And they live in holiness, guys. So if you're a minister out there and you were teaching people the, the permission to sin. And somehow they're going to continue to get away with it. You're going to get judgment to you. This is why, and I'm I'm speaking this boldly, that God sent me here as the third Elijah. And I say that because he told me if he didn't give me the title, he knows how zealous I was for the gospel. He said they're gonna, they would walk all over me. They would walk all over my gospel I gave you, Sean. So that's why I gave you this title. And the people out there are teaching people that sin is permissible under grace. That they can keep on doing it and keep on saying sorry and keep on going back to it and keep on saying sorry. And and, and they're going to eventually wind up in heaven. And they're playing around with the grace of God, guys. You don't play around with God's grace, guys. You need to repent. Stop I, I teaching out there the liberality of the playing around with the grace of God. The grace of God. My name means God is gracious. The reason why he tagged on his third Elijah the name of God's grace it's because people have trampled it. And he says, uh, they they stepped on me. And he said, that's exactly what they did to him. And I forgive them, but my life is a testimony of what they did to his grace. You're stepping on it when you're teaching that, guys. Uh, the grace of God gives us, delivers us from sin, not so we can stay in it. Jesus didn't die so we could go back and forth because we couldn't, because we couldn't serve him in holiness he died because we did not guys there's a lot of water being cast over the holy spirit and over the the uh living body of the lord jesus christ when he rose from the dead he was no longer dead that represented sin sin was buried now it's holiness guys and there is too much water being cast over the word of God, guys. There's too much water. We got to make it so standard, so low, guys. Our definition of being human is not even God's definition. Jesus Christ came to show what being human was, which was supposed to be for the first Adam before he sinned. Being human is being holy and serving God. Being a sinner, that's Satan's dead image. That's this image of a dead... I saw the people that take the mark, and, and they were like dead zombies. That's his image of sin, guys. You want to be conformed, stay a sinner, then you're going to be going to the place where they take the mark, you know. Because there is a right where they receive a right on their right hand, but it's not the Lord's right. It's for the people taken away from his word, saying you can go ahead and sin. I saw the person... Who, who got left behind for this teaching, and, and this kind of teaching. And he said, I was told God cares about what you say, not about what you do. And he took the mark. And I know there were people out there that say we got to, you know, we need to go and sin no more and everything. But they're still at the same time confused. They're going back and forth saying, teaching it in such a way that we're not under the law that, okay, that gives us permission to sin. We Guys, any of you, if you're preaching permission to sin out there, and we can have time to repent. You are playing with the grace of God. Every one of those people you're preaching and telling them out there they have time to repent. You don't know that because they could die at any second. So stop telling them that. And this is a rebuke from the Lord because those people could die and go to hell, guys. Forever. And they would say, well, the pastor there in holiness, Mr. Mr. Pastor here, told me, that I was not under uh, law, but I was under the, the law of grace. I was under grace. And so I, I took that grace. And I, and you know, I, I thought I would have a time to repent. But my heart stopped beating and I went to hell. And guys, you, you need to stop teaching that. Because it's, it's costing a lot of people, guys. 
Preach the gospel of holiness. The good news is, guys, that if we will go forget that. And, and, and can you think about a person, uh, a criminal that's pardoned before a judge and he's planning to go out and go commit the murder again? Is that person going to let him go? No. God's plea bargain is that we, because you, uh, criminals can't negotiate with a judge because we've been criminals in our life. We take the plea bargain. We repent. We don't say, I can go back and forth to it. I have permission if I go back to it. The Bible did say if we sin, it said we had to have an advocate. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus Christ said there were a lot of people who died. And when they got up there, a lot of the apostles said, I don't always see it totally now as I did when I was writing. I have a greater revelation of the Lord, of his holiness, of, of what he requires. When I got up here, I have a greater revelation. And they all said one thing. Don't use us as a foundation stone. Use Jesus Christ and his words as a foundation stone. Paul said that in heaven. Don't use my words as a foundation stone. Are you going to get messed up? This was a guy who'd done horrible things to the Jews. And he'd already had the law. And so he received the law to preach grace. But milk is what pe they're trying to keep people on. And everybody who uses milk is unskilled in the world of righteousness. And Jesus said that the children of the kingdom, he said many will come from the east and the west, sit down from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom. But the children of the kingdom, those who are staying on milk, they're going to be cast into outer darkness, guys. Because they have not learned the righteousness of the Lord. The, the garments, they're the righteousness, the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. If you don't have a garment of linen, you're not getting in the city. You can't get in the city as a babe in Christ, guys. You can't. You know, even a person on their deathbed, when they have a harder repentance than us, they'll, they'll get there. But I'm telling you guys, if you're staying a babe in Christ, you're not growing. You keep drinking that milk, saying we're saved, you know, by grace. Uh, you know, we don't have to, we don't have to, uh, you know, we can, we can sin sometimes. You're going to be cast into that outer darkness, guys. And I'm saying this as a wake up call. Because I love people, you know. I know what's at stake by these these teachings, guys. I'm, I've, you know, God is getting really tired of this church because because of the kind of preachings it's coming out with it. It's so cold toward the Lord. It's, you know, I saw that place I was sitting there in that dream with those people. This, he told me this was where all the church was sitting mostly. I mean, there might be one or two coming out. But it was setting on a circular structure of just stone steps. They didn't go up very high. They had no knowledge of the Lord, you know. They weren't walking. They weren't willing to carry the cross. They were sitting down teaching. They were sitting on stones teaching. I was called to carry that bed, that headboard of that bed, you know, like a cross, you know, and take it up to, and, and heaven, it would be joined to the Lord. He would be my bed. You know, pick up your mat and walk, but people just want to sit there and think that the Lord's going to do everything for them. He, guys, he's put us into the spirit, but he called us to go and bear fruit. He gave us his word, but we need to sow it into us. There's so much coldness, guys. There's so much coldness. There are preachers out there that seem so zealous for the Lord. But when you examine that, when, when they're met with these kind of messages, they get so cold toward it. I'm telling you. What we're about to go through with half, three and a half years of tribulation, they will not make it. They won't make it right now. They need to get on fire for the Lord, guys. Jesus is coming back for a church without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. So this babe teaching that you can go back and forth to sin, that's not going to make it to heaven. That's not a spotless bride, guys. That's a bride with, and, and they say just, just because of his blood. You know, I'm here to tell you what... The Father and what Jesus told me, and I saw them. He said, if they keep trampling my blood, they will not be covered by it. If they keep going back and forth into the same thing, th there will come a time when my mercy will run out. I'll give them up to that world government. And if they want to uh, survive, they're going to have to lay their lives down. And if they can't lay their lives down for me and, and, and resist that sin... That willful sin, like pulling down your pants and masturbating. If they can't do that now, how are they going to do it then? So get out of these teachings, guys. And if you're in the churches that teaching them, just get out of them, guys. Because they're just making you cold. 
I love you guys. This is why I'm saying this, guys. I don't carry the anger, you know, like, like you know, I did in my past. But, but I am trying to uh, get you guys your attention about this, guys. Just be careful what you're listening to out there. I love you guys. I'm praying for you. Until next time, shalom.